Hey guys, so you want to know how much it costs to fuel up or charge up a Tesla Model Y. Alright, so I'll get right to that and let you know. Before that, I'll give you a few details that may make a difference. Obviously, I live in Florida. Uh, my part of Florida has uh, a rate of electricity at about 15 cents per kilowatt hour, um, and I do drive a lot. I don't really use superchargers. I charge at home almost 100% of the time. And here in Florida, or at least here with Duke Energy, it really doesn't matter what time of the day you charge, the electricity costs the same. So whether I charge during the day or if I charge in the evening, they don't care. They just charge me whatever they're going to charge me. All right, so um, also, how much do I drive? Now, I drive an average of about 900 miles per month. Um, what else can I say? My stereo's always going. Um, and I usually always have the air conditioner on because it is Florida. Uh, in fact, I can't remember there being, maybe there's been like, I don't know, 10 days in the last 18 months where I've driven just with my windows down with no AC. Um, so those are sort of the uh, parameters that I'm, that I'm working with here, just to, just to give you an idea. Uh, I don't use the heater probably never have so I, I imagine if you live in a cold climate area you would probably use the heater a lot more and that would uh, probably make somewhat of a dent in your energy consumption um, and well all right let's get down to it so how much do I pay in electricity to charge this Tesla which I drive every day this last 31 day period cost me forty seven dollars on average it cost me between thirty five and forty dollars Per month to charge this car at home now this is a standard range car with one motor it doesn't have a it's not a dual motor version I'm not sure how much of a difference that makes because my car before this was a 2019 Honda fit um, which I got probably 30 miles per gallon on and that car cost me probably about $80 a month to fuel up so um, electric is the way to go guys now, fortunately, Tesla just updated their app and they included a little uh, section called Charge Stats. And you just click on that and it'll actually tell you how much your electricity bill was for the last 31 days of charging your car. All you got to do is get in there, uh, put in some extra information just to let the app know, you know, uh, who your energy provider is. And then they'll figure out how much your kilowatt, how much you pay per kilowatt hour. And it'll give you a pretty accurate uh, 31 day breakdown of how much it costs to charge your car. Hey guys, before you go, let me know in the comment section what type of Tesla you have and what your average monthly electric bill is. I think it'll be a really great source to put that down in the comments so everybody can sort of get an idea, um, you know, how much how much it costs throughout different parts of the country and throughout different models of Teslas. So just kind of put, you know, what your average uh, driving distance is, uh, what part of the country you're in and uh, how much your 31 days worth of electricity cost to charge your Tesla. Um, and also, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button. The more subscriptions that I have, the more time that I can spend making videos for you. All right, guys, thank you very much.